my earth signs taurus capricorn virgo welcome to your weekly reading we'll be having a look at what's coming up for you this upcoming week using a couple of decks if you enjoy this content please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel um, otherwise let's have a look what the overall theme is for you earth signs this coming week earth signs Okay, you've got the Priestess of Ambition. Okay, super powerful. Um, you're really determined to get something going here. You're really determined. You're really focused on a connection or someone is showing their sheer determination towards you. I get the sense with the ambition, it's like a pursuing kind of energy. Now, either you are doing the pursuing or someone is pursuing you and it's absolutely relentless, but it's a wonderful um, connection and it's someone who's... Um, super special she wears the color of purple now in the medieval deck um, in medieval decks purple is a symbol of royalty okay of elite status so there's someone of good status of wealth of power of influence of inspiration of good um, of good quality that's coming in around you that's really pursuing you I feel like this person is pursuing you I do um, I feel like you're gonna absolutely love that or there's someone to determine to someone very determined to make something right again so if you've been waiting on someone and you've been waiting to see their efforts this is a message that they could step up this could be the week that they um are much more ambitious okay they aim high they want to step up they want to do things they want to get things done um okay especially if you haven't had contact with this person or things have gone quiet um and it could very much be with an ex it's something you've waited a long time here for, um, Earth Signs. Now, this is Sagittarius energy. Um, it's temperance energy. It can be like patience or moderation. I always associate twin flame energy with the two cups that the angel balances here. Um, angels can be communicators. So um, because the Page of Swords is looking back, the Four of Swords is like you left something. You left it where it's at. I get the sense that you're either picking something up with an ex, you're looking back to the past, so you're looking back, and it's someone you've waited a very long time for to either step up, to be what you want them to be, um, to confess something, okay, because the temperance card, Sagittarius energy is truthfulness, it's being straight up about a situation, so if you've put this connection to bed, you've put it to rest, or you've, you know, you've, you don't want to leave entirely. There's been a part of you that felt like the Page of Swords, so you didn't feel entirely confident to leave it behind. You've tried to, or maybe you're still in the early stages of getting over this connection, but it's coming back, and it's coming back bigger and better and stronger than ever before. So I'm quite impressed with this reading, and I would say I'd be very impressed with this person's behavior or the extent they're willing to go to for you. Now, so you're looking back, okay, Page of Swords, you're looking back on conversations, you're looking back at this person, maybe you're reading over text messages, you're trying to figure out what went wrong, what happened when it did, and why it happened when it did, so you're questioning a lot of things, um, and you're going to get truth, okay, I feel like with the temperance, it's presenting everything as it is, so you're going to get an honest answer, a straightforward answer. I don't get the vibe that's beating around the bush. I get the vibe that it's um, it's pretty straightforward what someone wants to communicate or what they want to say or how they want to come across. It's, it's an open energy. And you'll be able to like, it's almost like you'll be able to work it out and talk to them about it and then you'll be able to like shut the door on it it's like okay this happened i've forgiven you you've forgiven me let's file it away and not in the sense that you're pushing it under the rug and it's like okay let's never talk about this again let's pretend it never happened i get the vibe that you will talk about it okay you will dip your feet in it it may feel a little bit uncomfortable at first but throughout the week you'll start to see that it's going to remedy a situation because look at this it's peace there's peace in the cards here so if you haven't had peace and you've been stressed or you've been worried, um, it's almost like a, an underlying theme here for you is this week is that you're getting peace, you're getting tranquility, that mediation through words, through communication is something that's going to solve the issue at what's at hand here. Um, it could also be like um, 
someone messaging you or you messaging them and it's like a peaceful attempt to restore a connection or a peaceful attempt to restore what you once had and come into civility um, now this is great because it would eliminate a lot of toxic anger or ten intensity or tenseness or anything like that so seeing that in the cards i think that's very positive i think overall you know it's something you've wished and you've prayed for um, it's possibly something you've meditated on or you've had a premonition about this even. So it could even be like a a, um, a premonition here is coming true. A premonition has come, um, has come true here for you. But, you know, there could even be some begging and pleading for your love, earth signs. There could be someone who's like desperate to make things right again. And why? Because they're driven by ambition. Now, it could also be you, Earth Signs. You may be very determined to make a connection right again. Um, and you may be the one that sort of hoped um, and, and pleaded and, you know, really wanted to make something right. You know, you've prayed to the universe. You, you've prayed for things to fall in your favor. And I think there's an opportunity where it can. Take it slow where you need to. Everything in moderation. Don't overload this connection. Don't try to fast track it because that's going to put more pressure onto it. Because you've got such a peaceful energy, although ambition is here and you have such a peaceful energy, I would say the best way to do this is to take it one day at a time. Yes, you want answers. They want answers. You want to work this over. But the longer you take in this, the more you're going to get out of it, essentially. Now, you're, you're quite patient as signs. Um, so overall, I think you're able to do this. Well, you know, the Virgos, okay, you might want more answers sooner and that's okay. It's just in your nature to be this way. But um, I get the sense that the slower you take things, the more you're able to reflect and meditate and think about them, the more clarity you're going to get and the more peace you're going to invite into this connection where there wasn't any um, or the more peaceful communication you'll be able to restore. So no more fighting or being abusive or spiteful or accusing each other of doing certain things. It's a much more peaceful approach. And I think with this kind of approach working for you this week, or if you just remind yourself this week, you know, when you're talking to someone and you want to say, you know, you want to give them a bit of a low blow or you want to take a dig at them, just stop yourself for a moment, even if it's for a second and think, is this going to get me far? Is this a peaceful way that I can try to work through this? Is this going to bring more peace or is this going to bring more anger or stress into this argument or into this conversation? And all it takes is just that split second and it could change the whole outcome of the conversation or the whole outcome of what it is that you're aiming to get to. So I think it's just a peaceful reminder that something you need to think about this upcoming week. I'll leave it at that though, Earth Sign. So thank you again so, so much for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to reach out if you were after a private reading with me. Um, otherwise, hopefully we shall be in touch very, very soon. And um, have a wonderful week. And until next time, bye for now.